At ESMO 2021, we presented results from the colorectal cohorts of CRYSTAL-1. CRYSTAL-1 is a study of KRAS G12C inhibitor Adagrasid in patients with solid tumors and a KRAS G12C mutation. KRAS G12C is an oncogene and a strong negative predictor of cetuximab efficacy. Preclinical data show that the combination of KRAS G12C inhibition and EGFR inhibition leads to greater modulation of phospho-ERK and in vitro in both CDX and PDX models leads to deeper and more durable responses. CRYSTAL-1 was a multi-cohort phase 1-2 study. Phase 1 had an accelerated titration design that resulted in a recommended phase 2 dose of 600 milligrams BID, which was subsequently studied in multiple 1B and 2 cohorts. Here at ESMO, we reported results of 46 patients with adagrasive monotherapy and 23 patients in combination with cetuximab. In both groups, the most common adverse events were gastrointestinal, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fatigue. And with the addition of cetuximab, of course, as well, acneiform rash and dry skin. In monotherapy, none of these treatment-related adverse events resulted in discontinuation. In combination therapy, there were two. Uh, one was a grade two malaise, and one was a grade two cetuximab hypersensitivity. With monotherapy, the response rate was 22%, including one unconfirmed partial response. In combination therapy, the final response rate was 39%. Thus, we can see that both monotherapy and combination therapy are tolerable and active against KRAS G12C mutated colorectal cancer. These results will be followed up in the ongoing CRYSTAL-10 study, which is a randomized phase three study in the second line where patients are randomized between either adagrasib plus cetuximab or to the fluoroperimidine-based doublet to which they were not previously exposed with VEGF or VEGF receptor drugs allowed per investigator discretion. The study will accrue at 300 sites in Europe, Asia, and the United States. In the United States, it has already started accruing.